Hi everyone, this video is about this painting. I just wanted to mention that it's inspired by Anne Osborne. I am trying to do what she's been doing. Um, she's absolutely inspiring. This one obviously doesn't got quite as much white as I would like, but it will get there eventually. This one, um, Anna Marie, most people know her as well. She did a nice dark one and I really need to do a dark pool for my husband. And again, you can see there, look at these colors and this is on black canvas. You'll see in a minute how I did this. Just to give you some close-ups of how this look, looking how it came out. But I'm absolutely stunned how beautiful this is, how easy it is to do. I've only been doing it for a little while. I'm actually a weight loss coach. I'm no pro at YouTube videos, but I do do videos for my weight loss programs and things like that. So this isn't too scary to do as yet. But there you go, this is what it looks like and in a few seconds the video will start that shows you how to do this. Have a great one you guys. Bye. I'm just going to mix the cup for this black canvas. I've got some purple here, really dark purple. Putting a whole lot of that in there. Some turquoise. Seems to be everyone's favorite. Relatively bright green. Some magenta. And a nice lime green as well. Just going to make sure I put enough paint in to cover this canvas, a bit more purple, more of this turquoise, more green, dash more of that, and then I want a lot of this one in here. Right, and then we'll get ready to pour this black canvas. Hi everyone. Right, I want to pour this mixture of colors on a black canvas because the idea is to pour this on a door for my husband's studio and he doesn't want any white. So to avoid the same dilemma I had with the white door I poured, I'm going to paint the door black. So I want to see this. If this works, then I'll be doing that. So I've got all my colors in here and I'm just going to flip cup it onto the canvas. Right, here we go. Let's see what happens. So there's no white in there. I didn't even put black in at this time either because there's enough black on the canvas itself. This is scary. This is really scary. <laughs> there you go. I love the colors though. Is there a reflection? No, looking good. Okay. Okay, so now do we torch now? Do we torch later? Do we move it? Don't we move it? This is exciting! Scary but exciting. There's some lovely lines and stuff happening here. I think it's really a scary thing to try and take on colours without white. 
white defines everything, white makes it so pretty. As soon as you take the white out, man. I'm going to just blow it with the e cut a little bit and see what happens and then we'll tilt it a little bit. Just pop some of these bubbles. It's making lots of cells. I just hope we don't make mud. is looking amazing I wonder if you can see it from there Andrew can they see it the patterns and things I think we'll zoom in a little bit later Wow, that, that is so pretty right the moment of truth let's see what happens if we talk this Still in the frame at least. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Let's come down to this side. Now, if this is a total success, my husband's going to expect this <laughs> exact same thing on a door. And I don't know if that is going to be quite possible. And there goes my dogs, or okay. to kill the neighborhood. This is real life, people. This is not TV. Even though... <laughs> okay, I know we're on a TV, so you know what I mean. Wow, 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 this looks so amazing, this looks so awesome, oh my gosh, looks like inverted colors, <laughs> I choose not to respond, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, that looks a little muddy over there, but everything else is actually looking pretty awesome, Ooh. I'm going to leave this to just develop and do its thing. I'm not going to do a time lapse or anything like that. I've got a canvas right next to this one that I would also like to pour. So we'll be back in a few seconds. Hi everyone. Okay, we're going to pour in the colors in this big cup for a canvas that I covered to redo because I didn't like the pattern. So here goes nothing as they say and I've put myself covered in paint already right a whole lot of white as in a lot of white goes in there I mix it up like this so I can just use it then I'm going to use my purple love this purple it's going in there just a little bit this is another purple this is a gorgeous color. Another bit of that. And I'm not using the green, I'm using the turquoise. Turquoise, everyone's favorite. Oh, I want lots of that in there. And a little bit of the magenta. Just a little smidge of that. And I'm not using green in this one. And then we pretty much fill up this cup with white. 
That should cover this canvas. Right, we're gonna come back, zoomed into the canvas, and let's see what right, happens. Guys, let's do this white canvas. I have got the cup full of paint. I hope it's enough paint. Let's flip it and see what happens. This is experiment I'm trying to do to use it on top of the box lid that I'm going to pour. I just want a lot of white with a bit of bubbly, bubble of detail. Not a lot. So we experiment till we've got the right recipe. So let's see what happens here. Get some air. Bring it back. Come back here, come back here. Don't fall away. Don't fall away. Oh, these colors are absolutely beautiful. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're losing it, we're losing it. This canvas I repainted with white gesso just to reuse it. Didn't like what was underneath it. Colors are gorgeous. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. What colors would you have used? Do you think the color combinations are good or could we do better? Okay. I'm going to blow this quickly and then we can tilt it. Oh, look at that. It's amazing to watch this come alive when you add a little bit of heat to it. It's beautiful. I love how the turquoise always dominates and comes out so strong. Using it on the side. Yeah. Okay, so now for the tilting. Let's see what happens. I'm going to tilt it too much or too quickly. <laughs> come, 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 come. I'm going to go that way first. Let's see what it looks so pretty. Still not enough white. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm still adding way too much color to this. So I'll probably end up doing another one. Yet again. Oh my gosh, oh my Oh, this is so beautiful. Look at these massive cells we're getting here. It almost looks like cells in cells.
is so pretty. Slowly. This is painstakingly slow. You learn, learn some patience doing this. And you actually learn to let go of things as well. <laughs> Whatever is so pretty cannot be saved and you you have to deal with it. There we go. I think we've got that covered nicely. Can I just point something out before you do much? Yeah. That looks like a pig face. A pig face? Yes. As in oink oink pig? Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pig apparently. <laughs> a blue pig. I can't see it. I just know it's pretty. No, I don't see it, babe, sorry. This looks like the inside of a shell. It shimmers. Hashtag pig if you guys can see the pig. Humor him and tell us if you can see the piggy wiggy. I can't see a pig. I think he's been eating too much pork. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, world. Oh my goodness, is that, is that a xenomorph head right there? I don't know. Oh, xenomorph, that's the alien. I'm yeah, the alien. Watch too much movie. Oh, there it is. There's the alien. I got there. Just with a little goes. more eyes coming through. Yeah. They do actually have eyes. This one actually has an eye coming out though. Awesome. What else can we possibly spot in here? <laughs> oh my goodness, I found a penguin. A penguin. Down here. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not going to put the heat he gun to it again. I think it looks really good like that. Let's see how much of this actually stays like this. Even this shady spot here. May maybe I should blow that and see what else. Leave it. You think mm -hmm. I must leave it? Okay. Andrew says we must leave it, so I'm not going to do it. So there you go, guys. I'm going to get Andrew to just show you what the other canvas looks like that we poured on the black. Can you move the thing to show them? Gonna be a bumpy ride. There you go. Uh, and I'm not even on the table anymore. <laughs> okay, but can you see that now? Yeah. Okay. I think that looks absolutely stunning. The light lime green is actually coming out yellow, which is quite nice. And this is all done on a black canvas. So yeah, let's see how that dries. I will send you guys photos on the facebook page the south african one and the basic uh, acrylic pouring basics group i will send photos there so like if you like and we will see you in the next video bye guys see you later